the corner from the United States of America, Mark Kerr! I'll tell you what, Steve. A year ago, Mark Kerr was considered unbeatable. He was the most feared fighter in the sport. But he's had a couple of subpar performances, and he knows he needs to win tonight. He needs to win big to get back on top. In his way, Borisov Igor from Russia, world champion in Sambo. He thinks he can keep Mark Kerr on the downslide using leg locks and arm bars. Tonight, we find out. You know, it's interesting you should say uh, the last year because Mark told both of us that he has basically just gotten back into the groove of rather than the last year where he was fighting to not, not to lose, now he's just going in there and fighting. And he's taking all the pressure off of him. And you might notice he's not as cut as he usually is. He's not worried about looking good. He's looking about feeling, he's thinking about feeling healthy, getting in the ring, taking care of business, and having fun, most of all. You know, one of the things about him, uh, like you say, he's not cut. Well, he's still pretty well, cut, he's still but cut. Not, not, not compared to what he used to be. But one of those things had to do with his diet because he had a, a blood sugar problem which affected his performance at least against in his last fight against Kazuyuki Fujita where he ran out of gas because of his, uh, like blood sugar deficiency. His dietician told him, look, just eat whatever you want. And Mark said to me, and this is kind of funny, that it doesn't matter what you look like. It's not a beauty contest in, in there. He said, it doesn't matter if you got a 12-pack, a 6-pack, or a 9-pack, just as long as you win. He needs to win big tonight, Steve. He didn't look good against uh, Volchanchin. He looked good against Fujita, the whole first part of that fight. But like you said, he had a problem with the sugar balance. Well, you know, he's fighting another gentleman who's in tremendous shape in Borisov Igor. Uh, but he's kind of an X factor. He's really only had a one or two mixed martial art fights himself. He's mainly, as he said, um, you know, a Sambo guy, but Mark, as we know, is a real diverse fighter. Coming from a wrestling background and uh, former two-time Abu Dhabi submission wrestling champion, Mark the Specimen Kerr. <laughs> In the red corner, from Russia, Borisov Igori! Okay, here he comes. It's the mystery man. We don't know a great deal about him other than the fact that he is the world Sambo champion. And he fought against Giant Ochai, put him away in Ultimate Boxing a couple months ago, and looked good at doing so. A tremendously conditioned athlete and uh, really confident, Eddie. Well, like, like you said, uh, he's a champion in Sambo. He won the World Cup in 1993 in Spain. But he's been training a lot of kicks lately. He's comfortable with his hands. He loves leg locks, obviously, with the Sambo background. And he loves arm locks. I think, he, I think he's in for a war. I think he's in for a war, but you know, it's hard to make uh, an absolute prediction on a gentleman like this, because we've seen fighters come out of Russia, like Igor Bochanchin, that we knew nothing about, and all of a sudden they just dominate the sport. So it's going to be a tough one, but he's in against one of the top three fighters in the division in the world in Mark Kerr. And uh, so this could be a real coming out party for Borisov Igor, or it could be a going away party for Borisov Igor. We shall see. But I'll tell you what, when Mark Kerr is focused, I don't think anybody could beat him. And I know he's focused. Borisov, Igor's going to have his hands full. He's no, going to be in deep trouble. No. That's my prediction. I could be wrong. Oh, everybody over uh, underestimated Vegeta in this fight. He shocked the world. We're going to find out in about two minutes. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because I was watching Mark Kerr work out the other day with Rico Rodriguez. And... Mark Kerr, for a big guy, moves so fast. The match consists of two 10-minute rounds. Mark Kerr! 
Mark the Specimen Kerr, originally nicknamed the Smashing Machine in Brazil when he fought in uh, the Valley Tudo down there. Borisov Igor from Russia. Now, I, I'm going to tell you something. This guy looks very well conditioned. He looked really good against Giant Ochai. But like I said, Mark Kerr is so focused. He has his hands full, Borisov does. Referee Yuji Shimada explaining the rules. No headbutts, no elbows. And uh, both these gentlemen know the rules. Uh, neither one of them is known as a dirty fighter. So I expect a real good clean match. I think this is going to be a ground battle, Eddie, don't you? I, I think so as well. Mark Kerr has a clean, quick shot. Borisov virtually has no chance of defending against the takedown. So here we go, round one. Russia versus the United States. There's a little bit of a weight difference in this. Borisov coming out with his hands up. Kerr, much improved in the stand-up game. Both men circling, waiting. Nice right low kick by Mark Kerr to let him know that he's got striking weapons right out of the gate. That had to hurt. A couple more of those and Borisov ego will be limping. Yeah, Borisov looks a little bit tight. Going for his own high kick, but there was nothing on that. Maybe trying to duplicate Gilbert Ivel's feet against Gary Big Daddy Goodridge. Yeah, he said he just started working leg kicks. Another right low kick by Kerr goes to the well again. Kerr shoots and down they go. Beautiful double leg takedown. Borisov pulling guard. Inevitable. You can't stop Mark Kerr from the takedown. No way. In mixed martial arts, currently, Mark Kerr may be the premier takedown artist, although Fujita took him down in their fight. Yeah, uh, he gasses out and he's getting tired. That's the, the, only, the only shot an opponent of Mark now, Kerr has. Now, Borisov is, is turning his hips to the side. Uh, Mark Kerr knows probably virtually every offensive defensive position from the guard, so he's nothing he hasn't seen before. Holding Mark Kerr's head down is a good idea here. You don't want him to start smashing down those punches. Mark Kerr bringing his base up high. Borisov loosening the guard. And back to a semi-tight guard. Borisov is playing the hip game, going from one side to the other, trying to get an angle, possibly for an arm or some other Yeah, it looks like he's going to try to go for an arm. It looks like he's got some moves on the ground. He's, he's uh, defending against the punches. Mark Kerr can't land. And Borisov, as you said, holding him tight. Great idea. Got the arm in this time. I like Borisov Eagles hip movement. Uh, Kerr, Kerr going for the neck crank here. Can opener. Yeah. Borisov's got to do something. He's got to do something. Uh, spin out, go for an arm bar. He's not in trouble. Doesn't seem to be worried about the position at all. Maybe he's one of these guys who's got a real flexible body. He's holding it tight. Mark Kerr could get the submission here. Could submit it from here. He would have Submitting Borisov Igor quick with a can, can opener neck crank. Mark Kerr is back. And Borisov Igor, he's going to be seeing a chiropractor. Back to the drawing board for Borisov Igor. Now, on paper, with uh, Borisov Sambo back, right, you would have thought that he would have had maybe some answers to that move. Yeah, six seconds into the first round, the winner is. Two minutes, six seconds of the first round. Mark Kerr on a mission, back on top. Like I told you earlier, Steve, when Mark Kerr is ready to go, I don't think anybody can beat him. You know, you may be right, because that was an impressive victory. He took his time, came out through some low kicks, let the guy know, here's some stand-up. Got the guy thinking, stand up, shot it for the double leg, got guard, and just said, okay, you got guard. Here's a neck crank, playing, and the fight was over. That's the second can open I've seen work. Like, there we go. Boom. Big Got low kick. Now, those hurt. Kirk can kick because I know guys, they don't want, and he goes for that uh, double leg. Borisov doesn't sprawl out, doesn't underhook, doesn't even try to defend, just goes to guard. Neck crank, Mark Kerr. Some people call it the can opener. It's a neck crank. You know, uh, one of Mark Kerr's former teammates out of the Hammer House, Mark Coleman, uh, used that same... Uh, neck crank can opener from the guard against Sataki in January to get to qualify for the Pride Fighting Championship Grand Prix of which he won. Now Kerr probably thinking, hey, one wrestler won the Grand Prix Pride Tournament. Maybe he's next. We're going to see a lot of these can openers coming in. 